Welcome back to another video, everybody. Well, today we have a set of three-piece AG wheels, and uh, they're freaking nice. Uh, I will say that. Uh, I actually like the color that they are, but uh, this customer is going with something uh, off the wall. And, uh, you know, everybody's got their own taste, what they like to do, what they don't like to do, or whatever the case is. And uh, this customer, he's got, uh, uh, you know, a vision in his head. And uh, we're going to try to get these things uh, to, uh, you know, to the, to the level that he kind of wants them. So, uh, you know, I'm going to start to take these bad boys apart and uh, we'll give you a quick look at what they look like uh, before. And, uh, you know, when he was here, uh, you know, we, we took apart one of the wheels just to see how difficult it was going to be to actually, like, uh, get them off. And uh, to our surprise, both of our surprises, uh, it really wasn't that bad. So, um what we're gonna do is I'm gonna pan you around and I'm gonna show you these bad boys before I start really taking them all apart. All right, so these are these wheels. I don't know what uh, what kind style they are. Or what I don't know what kind of wheels they are. But all I know is that they're AGs and they're really, really nice. Uh, you know, he's got a uh, really, really nice Mercedes that these are gonna go on to. So, uh, you know, he, he asked me, uh, you know, he, he kind of pleaded with me to make sure I didn't, uh, I didn't mess up the heads of the bolts. And uh, I gotta say, they're, re they're really nice. Uh, mind that hair. But uh, they're really nice, because they match the uh, the lip, you know? So it's the same color as the lip. And uh, you know, I can't wait to get these things all apart and <laughs> get some color to them. Because uh, right now they're like a steel kind of gray, but like you can tell they're, uh, they're brushed. Uh, I don't know, you can tell that in camera. But they are brushed uh, aluminum and uh, they are beautiful. Uh, but uh, we took apart one, as you can see here. Um, you know, we got it apart and uh, it came out pretty good. Uh, it, it came out pretty easily. I, I thought it was gonna be a lot of like glue or, you know, sealant, uh, usually associated with, associated with three-piece wheels. But uh, this is the one that we took apart. And uh, as you can tell, you know, as soon as you take the hardware out, it just kind of pops right out. Usually all the three-piece or two-piece wheels that I've done before, there's usually a uh, sealant that seals the whole outside to the inside. But, uh, you know, with this design, there's a, a lip, a step lip, and uh, a bottom, uh, the barrel. So, you know, it, there's no center. So this just lays right on top. So which makes it super duper easy for us. Uh, we don't have to take the tires off, so which is going to be uh, so much easier, make life so much better for us. But uh, let's get to uh, taking these centers out, yeah? These are kind of, uh, you know, a different type of three-piece wheel where uh, the, you know, the center is over top. So all you really got to do is uh, whenever you take all the bolts out, just carefully uh, lift, the, uh, lift the center out. And that's how it is. I leave all the bolts in there just so that, like, I know, you know, they're, they're all accounted for. Um, except for the, uh, you know, the one hole. Well, I dropped one, but, uh, you know, that's all the four that I have right in here. And uh, now all I got to do is just pop the centers out because it's like a press kind of fit with these uh, AG wheels and uh, start to acid dip these things. Get them all cleaned up and uh, so that we can start to do some color. But uh, let me cut to uh, getting these all cleaned up and we'll get them in the oven. All right, guys, we got all four wheels uh, all stripped, ready to go. So uh, now what I'm going to do is, um, since this is like a billet aluminum face, what I'll actually do is I'll just um, mask off everything that I need to mask off uh, for the uh, mounting surfaces and the mounting surface for the, uh, you know, for when I put the uh, three pieces back together. But uh, I'm going to do something special with the center caps. Since the center caps are uh, aluminum, or, or billet, um, I don't know which one they are, uh, but 
what I'm going to do is since this is a two part color, what I'll do is I'll, uh, I'll mask off the edge here, uh, so that it'll sit real nice inside of here. And, uh, what I'll do is I'll mask it inside of here because, uh, the problem with getting the same kind of color, uh, with the center caps and the faces is that if you do one a shade lighter or darker than the actual wheel, what'll happen is you'll definitely see it. It'll be the one thing that you'll see walking outside of your house and looking at your wheels. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mask all of this stuff off, tape it inside of here. And then uh, what I'll do is I'll shoot all of the, all the colors all together. And then uh, when I'm ready to uh, pop these out, I can just pop them out. And there'll be no, uh, no, you know, no powder inside the holes and no powder inside of uh, my mating surfaces. So uh, let's get that going right now. So, uh, I got the first wheel done, so I'll show you exactly what I did here, uh, which you can see from the video. Um, I just masked off the center and the mating surfaces at, uh, you know, all the points that are going to be, uh, you know, connected to the, to the wheel. So all we have to really do is the edge and the face and the center cap, all the same color. And, uh, the center cap is actually masked all the way around and it connects to the back so it's not gonna pop out. So uh, so that once we actually start to shoot our color, um, everything will come out the same exact color. So uh, even if it's a shade off between wheel to wheel, at least the center cap will be all the same color so that you know which center cap goes to which wheel and uh, you know we'll go from there. So uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do off camera, I'm gonna do the rest of the, uh, the three and uh, get these bad boys in the oven just so that we can get our first coat on. And uh, since it's actually a super chrome uh, base color, uh, what we'll have to do is do a full cure and then uh, come back and it's late uh, right now. It's probably like nine, 10 o'clock or so. So what we'll do is we'll do our base color in uh, super chrome and uh, let that sit overnight. And then tomorrow uh, we'll start shooting our color and uh, hopefully we'll have the customer here just to see uh, exactly what shade of green or blue he plans on going with this and uh, we'll make everything happy and um, you know we'll go from there so I'll cut back uh, tomorrow when I get these bad boys in the oven or uh, I'll start to actually I'll cut back when we start to shoot our uh, our base color so uh, let's get to that now so these faces are uh, ready to go they came up to temperature and uh, now it's time to shoot the uh, the first coat um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shoot all four and uh, go back, make sure I don't have any uh, spots where I need to get to, and then um, I'm gonna let it cool. Uh, after it comes up to uh, full cure, I'll uh, start my timer and uh, it'll it'll go, and uh, I'll let it cool all night long, and then I'll come back tomorrow, and uh, we'll start shooting the color for this customer. Sounds good. two of these uh, centers in the oven right now coming up to temperature uh, so I can shoot the first uh, you know first coat of color and uh, hopefully if everything goes good which I don't expect it not to go good uh, we'll uh, we'll put the other two in and uh, have those come up to temp and get some color on those um, I was hoping hoping that the customer would come through and uh, kind of okay the color choice 
because you know he's very particular with uh, his color. He's got a a, a picture uh, in his head of what he kind of wants, and uh, hopefully we can kind of do that. Unfortunately, he's uh, it's kind of late on a uh, Sunday, and um, you know eating dinner Sunday nights. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shoot these uh, with one coat, and uh, you know I'm gonna send him some pictures. If he okay's it, uh, what I'll do is uh, I'll put everything back in the oven and uh, bring it up to full cure. Because uh, if I let it full cure on the first uh, on the first go around, um, then it'll be it, it, it'll start to change colors, and uh, that's the last thing I kind of want. So uh, let's get to it. Uh, let's pull these uh, couple out right now and uh, start with color. everybody after uh jostling back and forth with these things uh i got my uh first and second coat on uh in between the two so what i'll do is i'll wait for those to come up to temperature and then start my timer um the furthest one at the top in the back it's uh it's probably only like 10 minutes away from uh being cured but uh what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna send the uh the owner i'm gonna send him a, a couple pictures of it while it's in the oven to see if he wants to do any more coats and if he does then we'll uh throw another coat on or two whatever he'd like and uh we'll go from there usually um with colors like this it's usually like a done and go um but like i said before this customer has got a specific color uh you know in his in his head that he wants to go with so we'll give him a shout and uh we'll uh we'll go from there all right what's going on everybody Finally got these wheels, uh, these centers coated, uh, along with the, uh, the caps, you know, it came out pretty good. I think the customer is going to be really happy with this. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to, uh, since these are three piece wheels, I'm going to put these all together. And, uh, tonight when he comes, he can come pick them up make sure it's what he wants. And, uh, on to the next one. Yeah. All right, everybody, so we finally got these uh, wheels put together. We got all the centers in, we got all the center caps in. So, uh, you know, I brought them outside. So it's kind of a nice day outside. It's probably in the 40s or so where I'm at. Um, but uh, let me switch the camera around and uh, I'll give you a quick look here. Wow. At first I was really, really concerned about this color, but whew. I gotta say, I, I, I really do like it a lot. I think the customer is gonna be really happy. Um, he had one premise and uh, it was to uh, save the, you know, the the hardware. And, um, you know, there was only one, one mishap uh, and it was here, but uh, I put it on the opposite side of the, uh, the valve stem. So it's not as noticeable, but uh, you know, I think they came out good, but, uh, but listen, what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap this up and I'm going to call this customer. And uh, if you like what you saw, uh, like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, I'll see you on the next video. Bye.